Breaking news, Florida's proposed six-week abortion ban is closer to becoming law. State senators passed the Heartbeat Protection Act this afternoon. They voted after fiery debate and interruptions. Watch 2's Marley Martinez monitored today's vote, and she's joining us now in studio. So, Marley, what happens now? Well, the vote came down 26 in favor, 13 against. Now it's up to the Florida House to decide what happens next. I ask that we take a 10 minute recess until we can clear the gallery. This is unacceptable in the Senate chamber. Florida senators voted on the proposed six week abortion ban after outbursts echoed throughout the chamber. We need to foster a culture. Be quiet. And to hear somebody say that you don't care about women. You don't like abortion, ignore them like the 400,000. Sergeant, please. On Monday, Senate Democrats made clear why they're opposed to the six week abortion ban. And no woman should have to feel ashamed because she decided to have an abortion. What we really should call this is a de facto abortion ban. Six weeks is just not enough time for anyone to even know that they're pregnant and to be able to get an abortion. But ultimately, the Republican majority won. Abortion takes a human life. The unborn child is a living human being, and it deserves the same rights and protection as any other individual. Bodily autonomy should not give a person the permission to kill an innocent human being. The bill's sponsor says for her, this is not about religion. There is a human life that exists, and we are either going to stand for life or not. And this life deserves protecting. Now the ball is in the Florida House's court. The House has its own version of the bill, which cleared its last committee last week. Absolutely devastating. Orlando Democrat State Representative Anna Escamani told me her concerns as the legislation makes its way to the Republican-controlled House. It's incredibly dangerous. It strips away bodily autonomy and individual freedom, especially of women in our state. 